I'm Justin Grubb. And I'm Alex Getz, and we are wildlife filmmakers. We travel the world to get up close to all sorts of incredible wildlife. Our mission is to give you an animal's eye view of their world. The Okavango Delta in Botswana is one of the most unique ecosystems on Earth. The Great River floods into a lush open grassland, interrupting the arid Kalahari Desert. This ecosystem serves as a haven for wildlife, and during this time of year, is full of babies. We have come to film the young of the largest land animal in the world. But to get there, we must travel through severely flooded roads and face down an enormous roadblock. We really can't go anywhere on this path because there is like the biggest bull elephant we've ever seen. And his head like starts above where our truck ends. And so we don't want to drive up behind him and spook him because we don't feel like getting flipped and thrown about and crushed like a little camp. It wasn't on our itinerary for yeah, today. Yeah, we don't feel like <laughs> dying. So we're kind of just waiting until he decides to move. Ooh. A little bit of uh, showing off, telling us like, whatever you're doing, stop it and go away. Every elephant we see is the biggest bull elephant we've ever seen. It's <laughs> like the next one is the biggest one <laughs> constantly. So we're gonna try and get some photos and we're gonna try and get some video of him, but like, we're gonna just sit and wait. Eventually he grows tired of us and moves on. So we part ways and before long, find exactly what we have come here to film. We are filming a very, very young baby elephant. When an elephant calf is born, it weighs around 250 pounds and can immediately walk after birth, allowing it to survive against the predators of the bush. The curiosity and playfulness expressed by baby elephants is a spectacle to watch and ever so important for their development into becoming giants of the savanna. officially made its, made its mark on us. It has got by far the most elephants that we've ever seen. Plenty of elephant farts too. It's like never ending. So this baby elephant, when they're first born, they don't really know what to do with their trunk. And it's actually kind of amazing, like, an elephant can be left-trunked or right-trunked, meaning that it will go different ways. Whichever way it develops is obviously, it's like your handedness. And I don't think it knows what it's supposed to be doing with its trunk yet. It's like sticking it into its mouth. It's like kicking up dirt with it, trying to pick up dirt, just kind of flinging it all over the place, putting it in its mouth. It's figuring it all out and uh, definitely putting on a good show for us. And uh, now he's trying to figure out how to use his trunk and he's using his feet to dig into the sand and throw dirt up in the air and everything. And they've just been hanging out here for the last 10, 15 minutes. This baby will be dependent on mom for another 15 or so years before moving on. During its adolescence, it will have plenty of siblings and playmates to learn from and explore the world together. Wherever mom goes, the other elephants will follow, as elephant herds are based around the matriarch. We continue to follow this little one to see where its family is headed. I'm sure he has no idea, but soon they're joined by more family members. Look at this. 
There are so many elephants about 15 feet from the car. Elephant herds can be huge. Up to 100 animals can be found in a single herd during certain times of year. Elephants are masters at communication and produce tons of different sounds to communicate to one another. One of the most common sounds produced by elephants are low frequency rumbles that can be heard over far distances. These vocalizations allow these animals to find one another across the landscape. While everyone enjoys the fresh grass of the Delta, our baby meets up with playmates. And when you're a young whippersnapper, that can only mean one thing, finding trouble. See these two babies pushing each other? You, you get me it? Yeah. Dude, there's a pile of three baby elephants. The experiences this baby will have as a youngster will shape its behavior as an adult. A lot of what elephants know are passed down to them from their mothers or learn from playing. It takes a village to raise a baby elephant, and this little one will learn from not just its mother, but from its aunts and older siblings as well. This baby has a lot of work and growing to do, but will one day tower over the trees of the Delta and perhaps lead a herd of its own, passing on its knowledge and understanding of the remarkable Ogavanga Delta to the next generation. <laughs>